How's it going? I'm Lox, and today we're taking a look at Armory 3D. I want to say I'm not hating on Armory. In fact, I believe that Armory is an incredible addition to the Blender game engine, and the fact that it is made by one guy is insane. The add-on has so much potential, after revisiting the engine after three years, I almost forgot about it entirely. I was shocked to find that it had evolved so much. Now, let's get into the features that are super cool. Starting with the logic node system, instead of the standard system that UPBGE, Range, and BGE uses, that being the logic bricks and the Python scripting language, Armory uses a language called Hacks, as well as a visual scripting language like Unreal Engine. In fact, after my time learning UE5, I found that Armory is similar in many ways, even using a UI creation interface very similar to Unreal Engine. I was under the impression that Armory was not being updated, but I was surprised when I went to download the engine to make this video, it had been updated five days ago as of recording. But okay, I have a few issues that have me a little frustrated to say the least. From random errors popping up even when I didn't add much to the game, to Armory freezing while trying to load a game instance to test the project. And there just isn't enough documentation to figure out the issues I've run into. After working with many different versions of BGE over the past 10 years, I can usually figure out a problem with enough time, and I largely base my channel on showing the solutions to these issues. My issues with Armory can probably just be my lack of understanding of the engine in general. That being said, I would still say to give it a go. Armory 3D definitely has a learning curve to figure out before you're able to make a full game, but the versatility that it offers is still far ahead of the other versions of the Blender game engine. But the capability to publish to PC and mobile is amazing. It also has nodes that allow for servers to be used in multiplayer games with no extra add-ons, and that's just awesome. I hope the developer working on this engine can find more talented devs to help with the development of the game engine. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want me to make more videos on the Armory engine, leave a like and comment about your thoughts and experience with the Armory 3D engine. If you like my content, check out my other videos on UPBGE and Range Engine. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.